Construction Babies is Japanese film director Tetsuya Mariko's 2016 made violent drama about a small village 18 year old guy from a broken family background who himself has a broken morality and sets off out into the big city on a nihilistic path of unrelenting brutality. He sets about starting fights with all manner of men and relentlessly punching and kicking out even against those of a bigger build and more than one in number. It seems random and without purpose and even when beaten down himself he recovers, gets back up and actively sets back off out to seek after whoever stopped him at that time and assaults them again with flailing fists and jackhammer feet until he leaves them bloodied, battered and beaten down. This perpetually goes on and then this force of destructive nature is joined by another 18 year old guy who rallies alongside him as an ally to the random cause but he sets about punching and kicking only women who are unfortunately in his path. This startling turn of events is crudely misogynistic and even harder to fathom as a viewer and indeed affirms Destruction Babies as a violent gut punch to the senses. The movie will likely outrage and offend the masses and with good reason but like the rubber neckers who slow down on the roadways to get a glimpse of the car crash carnage and victims it will also find its audience. As violent and shocking as Destructive Babies is to this point it still escalates to another level as the two guys are out of control malignant misfits of society who abduct a young woman and hold her captive within a stolen car. As the terrible two take their tumultuous tirade of violence on a road trip rather than becoming a terrified passive passenger the young woman herself soon reveals a violent side to her nature that all too freely breaks loose from her middle class pretty and pleasant demeanour like background as a caged animal set free and the randomness of the violence to this juncture then turns into acts of killing as innocence lost becomes egregious apathy found as the unrelenting tale of takes itself on a barbaric turn to jolt and any audience members still watching into stunned silence or startled yelps of disbelief of what here transpires. Destruction Babies is like Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange meets Mario Barber's Rabid Dogs, an unflinching, uncomfortable movie subject matter, far stronger though in tone than its actual on-screen displayed bloody content is due to its realistic fashion in rendering to the screen. The movie has the power to both compel and repel any and all strongly constituted enough to undertake the experience and journey to watch Destruction Babies. With such an inherently in-your-face violent piece, the director though seems to be subliminally making the statement of how needless yet out of control violence is in today's world and just how far can society go to lose itself in the absurdity of celebrity manipulating the masses along with the freedom of the internet and video channels uploading all manner of phone camera video captures instantly posted to personal blogs and social media sites with virtually no censorship or thought of personal privacy at all. As the violent acts of the out of control use in Destruction Babies are themselves caught on video by the Japanese public, art does indeed imitate modern life with all of its unpleasant society flaws. This is Destruction Babies. Director Tetsuya Mariko's visual style in interpreting such contemporary out of control discombobulation is shot on video with a soap opera drama style fashion which is in itself unfulfilling for a film 
but mesmerising in its defined newsreel-like quality and appearance, and showing the assaults of innocent people in the shopping malls, arcades and side streets within the city itself. Destruction Babies is indeed a contemporary subcultural A Clockwork Orange, a coming of rage film that is as pervasive and a turn of innocence that bequeaths its subjective statement of cultural effect on society and highlights the frailty and fragility of any protective state measures on the populace. Destruction Babies is a hard film to define, and as such a 5 out of 10 scorecard is very much subject to individual conjecture. Without question though, the experience for most all will indeed be a violent gut punch to the senses, and a reality check cashed out in collateral carnage, and one long after viewing shall likely still not be readily pacified. Destruction Babies is released through Third Window Films and comes out on Blu-ray on the 10th of April 2017. If you've seen this one already or have plans to check it out in the coming weeks and months, do please let us have your thoughts in the comments below. We look very much forward to hearing your thoughts on this one. Till next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>